Hey, sweet souls. I just wanted to take a second to visit with you and share with you five decks that I believe are perfect for beginners. So the first deck that I think is absolutely wonderful for beginners is just a plain Centennial Edition Right Away Smith. Now, we all know, or at least in Tarot Land, we tend to know that this is not the most attractive artwork on the planet, and there are so many beautiful decks out there. But this is often the deck that people are thinking of when you think Tarot Read or Tarot Reader. So it's like, it's good to have a uh, this deck in hand so that you can learn the symbolism you can use it as a tool you won't be super precious with it with it you can beat it up you can work with it you can use your rituals you can practice with it a sturdy simple right away smith which is this kind of deck is perfect perfect for that now for me personally i love the centennial edition of the right away smith now this is the deck that has that teal backing instead of like the plaid or some of the other um, patterns that you might have seen and the reason that i like that this one better is because it's a bit of a denser cardstock and for me it's just a little bit more durable as i tend to work my car <laughs> i don't have this one um open so i won't be able to show you the images but i thoroughly suggest that you look this guy up because it's so cute is the everyday witch tarot now this deck reminds me of like not quite alice in wonderland but very fairy tale like it's it's like the little witch character and the images are so on point for what the traditional uh, rider white smith symbolism is and the illustrations are just adorable so if you're new to tarot or you're trying to give tarot to someone this is a really really good deck to to do so this is the everyday witch tarot by deborah blake illustrated by elizabeth alba i certainly certainly suggest that you get that for a friend Ugh. This is a favorite of mine. So another um, deck that I think is useful for beginners is Tarot for All Ages. Now this deck in particular, it just has really sweet, subtle, um, watercolor kind of pastel imagery and so it's very approachable very easy to look at very easy to work with so the size of the deck seems very useful for you know most hand sizes the backing of the cards are very pretty and very subtle make sure my other light is over here working and the cards themselves are kind of just easy to get to know easy to get acquainted with and the imagery is spot on for the right away smith system so if you're learning tarot if you're at a beginner stage with tarot i do think this is a very very useful deck for for a beginner's practice i would definitely recommend that one it's just cool <laughs> This deck also comes with a guidebook so that you do have access to meanings as you're learning them. So in the beginning, it's usually useful to have a guidebook to help you out. Another one of my favorite decks that I recommend for beginners is the Light Sears Tarot by Chris Ann. Um, this is the mass market edition. I would recommend this one for beginners over the indie version. But um, this deck has such... It's so beautifully illustrated. It's so chunky of a guidebook if I can get it out is a big old honker of a <laughs> guidebook but there's so much beautiful information um about the cards about the process of reading tarot so it's just wildly approachable um this one is uh, excuse me this one was produced by Hay House and it's also a big chunky um thicker deck of cards so it has some durability attached to it and it just has some vibrant beautiful imagery and it's a it's a it's a kind of a cult classic I would I would almost call it it's a favorite it's a lot of people tend to like this deck or don't like this deck so it's you're very either for it or against it and a lot of people tend to tend to like it I like that's a little bit more on the inclusive end so there's lots of different people uh hand shapes ethnicities gender identities. I love it. It's a good set of cards. I definitely recommend the Light Seer of Tarot for beginners. The last deck on my list of five tarot decks that I would recommend for beginners is the Modern Witch Tarot. Now, this is a little bit of a younger deck, but it's totally accessible to older readers as well. So I, it's kind of one of those sets that I, I suggest that you have in your back pocket and you pull it out when you have friends over or when you're um, kind of approaching tarot with people who are new, because this, uh, this aligns a little bit more with modern uh, imagery, modern vernacular in a way. So it, it tends to go across a little bit better. It's also um, a thick set of cards. So it looks like we're running about two inches on that guy. Um, back of the cards are pretty, you know, nondescript is how I refer, refer to it. And the palette is pretty, um, how would you describe that? The palette is like, it's very pastel, but it's very contrasty too. So it just seems like it's very approachable to most people who are interested in, in tarot. And it's the same, it's the same right away Smith, just some different imagery. 
um, some different genders in different applications. So that, that can be quite interesting and inclusive for, for some people. And it's, it's useful. It's, it's quite a useful set of cards. It's also a great learning set of cards. Um, as I tell a lot of people the first time they start asking me, like, what should I get for my first deck? It's like, get a Rider Waite Smith deck that you are okay with the artwork, and then get another Rider Waite Smith that you are in love with the artwork. So this would be a good okay with the artwork or in love with the artwork. <laughs> so it gets you going. It gets a good going for you. But those are my five recommendations for tarot cards for beginners that I thoroughly recommend. Hey, Trekins. I just wanted to say thank you so much for the opportunity to chat with you. And if you'd like to continue the conversation, come and join us over on Facebook or over on Patreon, where we can do twice monthly psychic sessions and you can stay in the know regarding all things the Ancestral Keys Project. If you don't know what that is, come and find out.